This is a medical video lecture Homo cystinuria or Homo cystinemia. So before starting a discussion on this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends. Okay guys, Homo cystinuria or Homo cystinemia. In previous video, we discussed the differences between what you call um, Amarphan syndrome and Homo cystinuria and that differences is really very important for your USMLE examination or any other medical board examination or even for your clinical practice. So let's talk about this Homo cystinuria. Homo cystinuria is nothing but it's an autosomal recessive, right? It's inherited disorder of amino acid, amino acid metabolism in which homocysteine is present in greater than the trace amount in the urine. Okay, it's an amino acid metabolism disorder where you see homocysteine in the urine. Okay, so in the greater amount. Okay, right. So, what's the cause for this? The etiology. Remember the etiology, the most common a deficiency of cystathione synthase, cystathionine synthase. Okay, but can also be defect of methyl cobalamine formation or deficiency of methyl tetrahydrofolate hydrofolate reductase reductase okay just what is the pathophysiology is nothing but homocysteine is not remethylated to methionine okay there's a beautiful what you call um, uh, cycle in this known as a homocysteine pathway I'm not gonna go in detail I'm just gonna tell you this what is called methyl cobalamine okay and this gives rise to what's called methionine okay and it gives and ATP breaks ATP breaks into what you call PI and PPI okay blah 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 then S adenosyl methionine it gives rise to S adenosyl methionine SAM okay right then it ultimately it gives so many products and it gives what you call homocysteine homocysteine okay this is briefly i'm going to talk about here and this if there's if you have to do draw over here there's another one is known as uh, it gives rise to tetrahydrofolate methyl tetrahydrofolate so just remember this if this is important that's it homocystinuria as uh, so autosomal recessive okay it's an inherited disorder where you see um, what you call a more amount of uh, homocysteine in the urine and the defect is most commonly the cystathionine synthase but can also be defect of a methyl cobalamine formation or deficiency of a methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase okay so what's the basic pathophysiology the pathophysiology is homocysteine is not remethylated to methionine it doesn't go like this that's it okay so what are the signs and symptoms it depends on the particular enzyme deficiency remember it depends on the particular enzyme deficiency and the most commonly the babies suffering from this disease they will normal at the birth remember they are normal at birth remember they are normal at birth and as they grow they will have a failure to thrive and development delay and subsequently occurring okay so development failure to thrive development mental delay can be there remember and later the patient will have what you call ectopia lentis there's a displacement of the lens tell me whether it's a displaced upwards or the downwards remember in homocystinuria the lens is displaced downwards 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 in home in marfan syndrome it's a displaced upwards 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 i think by this you will be very perfect and try to remember the other features of this um, homocystinuria the patient can have a marfanoid body habitus okay and um, they will have mental retardation really very important because uh, you don't see mental retardation in marfan syndrome 
okay and they can have malar flush rash can be there and uh, what you call um, osteoporosis fair skin very important and this patient can have obviously occlusive diseases okay guys so these are really very important so how do you diagnose this disease how do you diagnose tell me how can you diagnose this disease it's since they are normal at birth that's why the diagnosis is made after three years try to look for in years and try to look for the age of the patient okay uh, it's usually diagnosed after three years of age because of what you call failure to thrive development mental delay okay and uh, elevated methionine and homocysteine in the body fluids okay and nowadays a prenatal diagnosis is possible okay how do you treat it how treatment 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 how would you treat it is a high dose vita vitamin b6 vitamin b6 remember vitamin b6 okay um okay uh, and restriction of methionine intake and supplementation of uh, what you call cysteine remember okay uh, reduction restriction of methionine intake and supplementation of homocysteine and b10 if unresponsive to b6 therapy vitamin b6 therapy okay you can give b10 if uh, unresponsive to b6 uh, vitamin b6 therapy okay okay guys so thank you so much this is a brief video regarding uh, homocysteinuria and homocysteinemia thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much and please do share our videos and take care